So today I'm going to show you how to anchor to interior panels when you're building a camper van without really changing a whole lot. Uh, what I've done is I've already marked where my holes need to be and I've drilled it with a drill bit that is the right size for one of these. They call it a T-nut or a spiked T-nut. I have then taken them to a quarter inch piece of plywood, hammered them in, and I'm going to be putting these on the back um, after gluing them. But this, this is how I do it. I also get a bolt with washers that fits these so I can pull it tight. I'll push this through there. Now I'm going to grab this. It's blue or scrape at the bottom of the barrel on this. So this is what we have right now. Paint it on, smear it around. A little bit of a hole there, but I guess that's just like rock tight. And a little bit of excess is always good because this squeezes out. Get it started, and then you tighten the bolt into place. Tight until your glue squeezes out. Get it good and snug. Then you leave it there. And now I have a mounting point for when I want to tether something to the interior wall. It's that simple. And you're on. Well, of course it's the next day because there's a wardrobe change. <laughs> um, but now that this panel is done, I've put it back on. All that's left is this, screwed into the, the glued T-nut we put on the back. So now I can just take this off. And what we have there is a bolt receptacle that we can now use to connect to that sidewall. And it's relatively sturdy. This I haven't hooked in yet, but if we look on this side, that's two right there. There's another one there. They run all the way down. Easy as pumpkin pie. Well, we are wrapping up here, almost all done. There's a few things that we need to finish up, but we'll be back in about a week and a half to tie up those little loose ends. Um, in a nutshell though, you can see this one's set up as a bed. Uh, that one's set up as a chair. They both convert quite easily. Um, it's gonna be huge in here. Literally, that's a large queen-sized bed the whole way across. It's kind of crazy how much room there is in here. And then there's also all this room up here at the front, behind the front seats. We are gonna be heading to Yuma and um, 
Might even have the upholstery done by the time we get back, which would be a cool addition. But we have to add like these, these lids will be getting blocks underneath that will allow it to, to kind of lock in place and so they won't slide around. Um, that's the same way we did it in ours. Uh, so yeah, all of these tops will get it. Um, you can see the top there and the top down there. Um, but other than that, the yawning monster, I think we are, uh, we're done. On to the next. Last minute right now, Sammy is fixing our cruise control. So that'll be nice because the best way to, for me to avoid speeding tickets is to have cruise control um, well. and her. So you gotta lock in a speed, otherwise my foot just tends to go further and further down. Um, did you want to get any footage of it converting, like the bed? Um, we'll have to move that wood. Nah, we'll do that later. We'll do that the next time, yeah. People have seen that already. But anyways, we're gonna wrap up and we're gonna take off. See you in Yuma.